This video explains how to get the maximum and minimum value of a NumPy array using the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this video, we need to import the NumPy library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example array, as you can see in the second code box. So in the first line of this code box, I'm creating my example array, which is called my array. And then I'm printing this array below the code box using the print function. So as you can see, our example array contains three columns and two rows, which contain the values one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's assume that we want to return the maximum value of the entire array. Then we can use the max function, as you can see in the next line of code. And within this function, we need to specify the name of our array. So in this case, our array is called my array. And then I'm also using the print function to print the output of the max function below the line of code. So as you can see, the maximum value of the entire array is the value six. Similar to that, we can use the min function, as you can see in the next line of code, to return the minimum value of our array. So as you can see, the minimum value in our array object is the value one. It's also possible to get the maximum and minimum values of the array columns. And this is what I want to show you in the next lines of code. So in the fifth code box, I will show you how to calculate the maximum value by the columns of our array. And for this, we once again need to use the max function. Then we need to specify our array. And then we need to specify the axis argument to be equal to zero. So after running this line of code, another output is returned, which shows the maximum values of each of the columns in our array. So in this case, the maximum value of the first column is the value four, of the second column, the value five, and the maximum value of the third column is equal to six. Similar to that, we can use the min function to return the minimum value by columns, as you can see in the next line of code, and as you can see, the minimum values of our columns are one, two, and three. It's also possible to get the maximum and minimum values of the rows of our array, as you can see in the next lines of code. So in the seventh code box, I'm using the max function and the axis attribute once again to calculate the row maxima. However, in this case, in order to get the values by row, we need to specify the axis argument to be equal to one instead of zero as we did in the previous examples. So as you can see below this line of code, the maximum values of the rows in our array are three and six, and the minimum values are one and four. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.